The Tom Mix Ralston Straight Shooters are on the air from coast to coast. So let's get going! <laughs> up, Tony. Up, boy. Up! The Mystery of the Black Cat. Tom Mix has been called to a large eastern city by his old friend, Professor Harvey, to investigate the strange disappearance of radium from various hospitals. Well, soon after Tom arrived, over a million dollars worth of radium was stolen from what was believed to be a burglar-proof room of a big hospital. While Tom and Inspector Jameson stood outside the heavy steel door to this room, 20 stories above the ground and whose only window was barred, the thief managed somehow to get in, steal the radium, and leave a black cat in its place. And now, it's some time later, and Tom has been summoned to Professor Harvey's home, only to learn that the professor himself has been spirited away from his own house. Well, Tom, Inspector Jameson, and the others are searching the grounds of the Harvey estate for clues, when suddenly, a car comes roaring out of the driveway straight at them. It's the inspector's car, and behind the wheel, they see the huge form of a black cat. In a moment, we'll learn what happens. But first, here's your pal, the old Wrangler. Howdy, street shooters, howdy. If you know any chilly willies or icy irenes in your neighborhood, kids that are feared to poke their noses out of doors when the weather gets cold, then just you tell them about good old Ralston wheat cereal, will you? Say, once a chilly willy starts eating Ralston regular for breakfast, his shivers are go over. Because Ralston is a hot cereal, the kind that warms you up away down inside and helps keep you warm. Why, with a steaming dish of Ralston under your belt, you don't have to be a stay-at-home or a sit by the fire. You can enjoy cold weather. You see, Ralston is made of whole wheat, and it's cram full of nourishment and cowboy energy. The kind of energy that makes you want to go places and do things. And Ralston puts the B1 in B breakfast. Does it taste delicious? I don't have to tell you, it does. Now rope your friends tomorrow and give them the lowdown on this bang-up western cereal. Tell them to breeze through cold weather with Ralston, the hot whole wheat cereal that comes in the red and white checkerboard package. And now it's close to midnight. Tom and the others are standing in the driveway leading to Professor Harvey's house when suddenly they see the inspector's car start toward them. They barely get out of the way in time. The Wrangler says... He's driving that car. A cat, Tom. A big black cat. Oh, Mrs. Harvey, she's faded, Tom. Yeah, take her into the house, Pegasus. Right. Inspector. Yes, Mix. You'd better go in and call headquarters. Tell them to be on the lookout for your car and warn them to close all roads leading into and out of the city. I'm on my way. Right. I'll have them rush another car out here to pick us up. As soon as I get Miss Harvey safe inside the house, I'll be back, Tom. Okay, Pegasus. Now, Wrangler, let's see if we can get that model of the clipper ship in off the pond. How are you going to do that? Well, the wind's blowing it toward the opposite shore. Let's go around on that side. Come on. I've seen so many funny things, Tom. This here is the darndest mystery I ever did see. Now, that there model ship floating out there, there's something mighty queer about that, Tom. Yeah, I know what you mean. Something fantastic about it. Yeah, that's it. Why, when you turn that flashlight on it, it looked just like a real ship. Yeah. Look, there it is. Yeah. Hey, something's happened to it. Looks exactly like the wreck of a small ship. Well, I'll wait out and get it. Let me do it, Tom. My boots is higher than yours. The water's kind of shallow. All right, go ahead. Here. I got it. Good. Yeah. Look at there, Tom. The mass on this little ship have been broken off. Yeah, so I see. And there's a hole in the side. What's it mean, Tom? That can mean only one thing, Wrangler. Professor Harvey gave me this ship's model and told me to guard it with my life. That means it must be important, for some reason. Now, what is that reason? There must have been something hidden in it that the cat wanted. Now, wait a second. Here comes Pegasus and the inspector. Pegasus! Mrs. Harvey, all right? Yeah. I left her with one of the maids, Tom. Good. Our cat friend won't get far, Mix. I've been in touch with headquarters. He certainly made a mistake in stealing my car. My boys will pick him up before he gets ten miles from here. Right now, there's a statewide alarm out for him. If we don't have him cornered before another hour... Cars, state police patrols, parkway police... The cat, wanted in connection with the recent robberies of radium in New York City, is attempting an escape in an official car. The description of the car is as follows. Well, so does the dam. Welcome all toll bridge keepers, gatekeepers, and ferry landing superintendents. Watch for a 
black 12-cylinder sedan with the license number Y413. License number Y413. Are being driven by a man known as the Cat. What is the connection? Never catch me, the fools. Never. Uh, don't be too sure of that. Professor Harvey, your confidence in your friends, especially that cowboy, Tom Mix, is amazed. My confidence in Tom Mix is not misplaced. You'll find out. You won't get far, Cat, believe me. <laughs> I've gotten as far as I need to go. I've got the radium, and I've got that priceless little secret you hid away so cleverly in that model of the clipper ship. I need no more, Professor, until I reach the island. Then I'll make use of you again. If you expect me to... I never I... expect it. I'm sure of it. Who was it who told me what to find the little piece of paper concealed in the model ship? Uh, I did, yes. I admit it. But you forced me to do it. Yes, you forced... I forced you to do it. And when I need you again, I'll force you to do my bidding as easily as I did before. <laughs> no, I've made out very well, Professor. Very well indeed. The police are after me, I believe. But I shall escape them without any difficulty. Let us see what progress they're making. And on the shortwave radio. Turn it on yourself. Very well. <laughs> and it's believed the cat is heading north on Eastern State Parkway. Parkway police and state police patrols be on the lookout. Ah, <laughs> I knew they think I was heading north. Well, actually, I'm heading south for the city. Uh, you, you'll never get away with this. We'll see about that, Professor. Hey. Must be approaching a crossing. Yes, there it is ahead. Look. The red lights are on. The gates are down. You'd better stop. The cat stops for nothing. We'll beat the train without any trouble at all. But the gates are down. And we'll go right through. Don't. No fool. We'll never make it. We'll never make Put it. Hang over your eyes. Here we go. <laughs> we made it. Thank heavens for that. Now you know why I always win, Professor. I take chances no one else would dare take. Wait. What's that? Sounds like the police. Yes, it is. Hold on, Professor. It looks as if we're in for a chase. A chase that you're going to find highly exciting. <laughs> slow down, you idiot. Slow down. You're in the heart of the downtown traffic district. We'll all be killed. How can I slow down with all those police cars on my tail? Was you fool! You'll kill us both! Not far to go now. That's the foundation building right down the street. The foundation? So that's where you're heading? No! I'm heading for the tower building next door. They'll trap you there without any trouble at all in that building. <laughs> you think so, do you? Well, we'll see. You're in for a surprise, Professor. The greatest surprise of your life. All right. Out of the car into the building. And obey me without questions. If you value all your life. It makes it looks as if we got here just in time. Oh, thank goodness that squad car picked us up as soon as they did. Sure was lucky that police car was near Professor Harvey's home when you called. It looks like the cat's gone into the tower building, Paul. Yeah, and I reckon we'd better go in after it. Yeah. Inspector, yeah. if I were you, I'd throw a cordon of police around this entire block. Station your men on the rooftops, the corridors of the building, and in the yard and back. All over, in fact. We mustn't let the cat get away. You're right. Murphy, you heard that. Get down on it right away. Yes, sir. All right, Mix, let's go on in. Right. Well, I sure don't see how you're going to corral a hombre like that in a building the size of this one. Won't be as hard as it looks, Wrangler. Look there, over the elevator door. There's a light shining on the 21st floor. Yeah. You must have taken the elevator to that floor. Well, we'll take the stairs. Come on. Oh, the stairs may be quicker, but that elevator sure would be much easier. Shuckins, this ain't no climb at all, Wrangler. Well, here we are. Now to find which office you went into. Yeah, that's going to take some time. Must be about 50 of us. Hold it, hold it. Listen. Hear them? Senator Leeson, that's a cat meowing. Coming from that office right over there. Come on, Tom. Let's get right in there. Now, take it easy, Wrangler. This may be a trap. Stand on the side. I'll kick the door open, and that way if the cat shoots, he'll miss us. Good idea, Tom. All right, here goes. Saddle, soap, and stirrup leather. Look at that big black cat in there. Yes, and fix the window. Look. Yeah, it's a cat standing in the window. You, don't move. Stand where you are, I'll fire. Don't be a fool, Mix. You can catch me only if you follow me. And you cannot follow me. <laughs> Tom, 
Sunderation, did you see that? He jumped. He jumped out of that window 21 stories into space. A fool. Refused to let himself be caught. Well, come on, Mix. We'll find his body in the yard below, I'm afraid. Right with you, Inspector. Wrangler, Pegasus. Yeah? See if you can find the professor. He must be tied up somewhere in that office. Inspector and I will be back in a moment. Right. Well, here's the yard. His body ought to be right about here. Flash your light around, Inspector. Right. That you, Inspector? Uh, yes, Murphy. We trapped a cat in room on the 21st floor, but he jumped out the window. Did you hear him when he came down, or... Oh. Great Scott, Mix. Look there on the ground. Yeah, footprints. The footprints of a man. Mix, it's impossible. When he hit the ground after falling 21 stories, he must have been killed. No man could get up and walk away. What does this mean? I don't know, Inspector. I don't know. Straight shooters, can you explain it? Do you know how a man can jump 21 stories into space, land on his feet, and walk away? That is the mystery that confronts Tom Mix right now. And say, have you figured out how the cat managed to get into a room... No one could get into. There are plenty of thrills, surprises, and mystery tomorrow. So be sure to listen in. Say, you won't catch any of us straight shooters eating a cold breakfast on a cold morning. No, sir. Thunderation, when we start trading punches with Jack Frost, we want a red and white checkerboard package of good old Ralston on our side because we know that with a hot dish of Ralston under our belts, we can knock Mr. Frost flatter than a pancake. You see, Ralston not only gives you warmth, but it gives you cowboy energy to fight cold weather. And just between you and me, the reason Ralston gives you so all-fired much cowboy energy is because it's rich in vitamin B1, the pizzazz vitamin. Why not ask your ma to serve you Ralston so you can laugh at cold weather? Well, sir, I'll be a bag-eared baboon with baby blue eyes. Look it. It's roundup time. So let's get going. Up, Tony. Up, boy. Up. This is the old wrangler speaking for delicious Ralston and reminding you to listen to Tom Mix tomorrow at 545. Good night. Enjoy delicious rye crisp as bread at every meal. Rye Crisp is an exciting new kind of bread. Delicious whole grain bread baked into thin, crisp wafers, tempting and golden brown. Rye Crisp is a grand, wholesome, every meal bread. But it's much more than that. For example, Rye Crisp makes marvelous appetizers. Each wafer is scored so it breaks easily into two handy squares. Spread these crisp squares with cheese or anchovy paste or deviled ham. Or serve them with sizzling cocktail sausages. They'll make a big hit, believe me because the enticing rye flavor of Rye Crisp goes great with any food or beverage. Order Rye Crisp, spelled R-Y-K-R-I-S-P, from your grocer tomorrow. It comes in the handy red and white checkerboard package.